Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. Now, today we've got a bit of a special video for you all, and it's really, really hard to tell right away, but if you look at the name in the bottom right, not WKK, but Silksy, well, this is a name I've taken on many, many long kill streaks in BF5. Combined with Australia's small server kind of community, you can bet that I'm going to get recognized really, really fast. You'll start seeing that soon, and the chat reactions we get in this game are absolutely ridiculous. The gameplay was also 181 and 3, so that may have contributed a bit to the chat, but I never get reactions like this. So normally when I'm playing, I'm always using a kind of different name. I was going by Fun Police for a while. I had Refund BF5 for a little while as well. You know, I, I change my name up a lot just so I don't get recognized and I can keep people guessing. I think it's kind of fun and, I don't know, it switches things up a little bit. I just went back to the normal name for a bit and uh, it was it was absolutely ridiculous how salty people got. So I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and I'm just going to commentate over it a bit and explain what I'm doing as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you on the commentary. Alright, what's up guys? It is uh, Commentary Silk here and I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. So we're on the first sector, that means the enemy are just really really trying to get up onto the beach and they're not really paying too much attention to the planes. I haven't had one Flieger shot at me this so far so I play very very aggressively here. I'm not really worried about Fliegers, I go as hard as I can and I try to kind of delay them from getting A as long as possible. Now they've capped it, I'm going to, you know, just keep doing my thing. I'm going to probably fly a little bit safer, but I'll still, I'm not that scared to get in there. Like, I'm in Flieger range there, and I'm kind of just waiting until I step it up a bit. Now, you, you see in the chat already, we need some good pilots to stop Silk or all Dead, so this guy might be a guy from our YouTube, you know, shout outs if you are, or he could have just been someone who's played against me before, but... Basically, if I was playing on the Fun Police, like, people wouldn't be like, we need a good pilot to stop Fun Police, because I've seen that guy before. You know, that just doesn't happen, so... We're already kind of getting, uh, getting cracking on this, and I can tell you guys right now, it's gonna get a lot better. So you'll notice they have AA now, so I'm, you know, staying a bit further away. Just trying to fly a bit evasively. If you play with a rear cam, you can kind of watch where the shells are coming from, and then you can dodge them. I was just spiraling a bit there, I know it's still hard to hit me at that long range. And I'm just going to repair up here above Flieger Hill. Alright, so we're going to be uh, turning around again. And we're going to kill this AA. It's very, very important just to kill the AA at all times. I'm going to cut this game up as well. But at the moment, it's just really high action. So I don't think I need to. So we are going to fast forward a little bit. Just to when the enemy starts really pressuring the sectors. Uh, this is when you really have to kind of step your game up a bit. If you want to stop them. And I'm going to try to do that here. So... I've got my bombs and I've got my cannons. I'm going to start by killing the AA. It's just important to do this. You don't want to get one tap, so get that out of the way. So the AA is dead now and we are going to go and look towards B. I'm going to drop a bomb on that building roof. The whole purpose of doing this is the bomb has a crazy range and if they leave that building, if they're in there at least, then they're going to get burnt. So the idea is that you get them stuck inside the building and then the infantry could like nade them out of there. They're basically just sitting ducks once they're stuck in there. And we're going to go look at the, towards the B flank now that we're kind of capping it back. Stop the reinforcements. Get two of the guys there. Don't know what happened at the third. Didn't get him. And now they're capping A. So we're going to switch our attention over to that. Obviously, I've spotted where all the enemies are by this point. Uh, some of you guys, you know, spotting is a thing that you just get used to. I get asked a lot how I spot people. It comes down to having a good monitor. It comes down to having good eyesight, I guess. And just knowing what to look for. So I'm looking for movement 90% of the time. And that was a huge strafe there. We're going to get A back eventually, I think. And that strafe, I thought it would have done the job there, but it didn't. And if I had inset bombs, I think it would have. So those kills probably all got rezzed. If I had bombs, I would have dropped them, and then that denies the res. I'm just getting two easy kills here. Kill Slippery Bulls again. And you bet that he's going to come into the chat soon, I reckon. So yeah, we're just going to keep on uh, hammering A. Just trying to slow them down a bit. So many kills to be had here. Bombs going in as well. Get fleeged. Doesn't really matter. The bombs are good. And they're going to pick up one or two kills, I reckon. Just one. Oh well. My teammates are coming in to save me here. Said mad. Respect. He's defending me. And we're 50 and 0 already. Absolutely crazy KPM up to this point. Uh, that's, this first couple sectors is probably why I had such a good match here. My aim was also, you know, my shots were hitting, basically. Uh, my aim is pretty consistent, I'd say. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I usually do hit the same amount of shots each game. It's just some servers have better edge than others, and I'm getting to the point where I can kind of reliably shoot a few bullets and 
I'll know whether I'm going to get a kill or not. Teammates are going against me. <laughs> Wonder what his life consists of these days. And yeah, this guy knows how to write the V word without getting uh, caught up with the chat filter. Legend. And we're just we're just wiping them out really. Pretty straightforward here. Just kind of trying to focus the trenches towards B because that's the next objective. I've kind of given up on totally stopping the one A because our teammates aren't close enough to capitalize on it. But if I see kills, then I'm going to take them obviously. Like that. And I've still got my two bombs here, but a plane comes on my six. So I'm just going to invert and then fly downwards. It makes it really awkward for him to actually hit a shot. And we're now at the, the Rian Bay. He can't kill me here. It's impossible, really. I mean, he can, but I don't like his chances. So we're just going to kind of wait around a little bit. He's going to fly away. It's all good. Dogfighting is uh, pretty, pretty dead. And there's no real point wasting too much time on it. Now we've got, uh, are you kidding? Tell a bird you went 53 and 0 in your last game. Whoosh. So I don't know if you guys know Australian slang or if it's not Australian slang, but bird is basically kill. So, you know, I think having a uh, good battlefield scores is pretty much all the game you need in real life. It certainly works, I think. And um, yeah, uh, this guy's speaking straight facts here. We're just uh, going to keep on slamming A to be honest. It's really hard to commentate over these new planes because it's just, it's very much doing the same thing over and over again. All you've got to do is got to make sure you're out of league range and that's just something you get used to. And you got to make sure that you can actually spot enough targets so you always have more stuff to shoot at. It's all a discipline thing really and it took me a little while to build it. Like, I could have stayed in a little bit longer for that kill but I would have taken so much more damage. Now guys, I'm telling you, I really do want to cut this gameplay down, but at the start of the match, it's just such high action, so I've got to keep it going, really. And uh, I got guys asking me in the chat, you know, how I turn so tight. I get asked that on YouTube as well. I honestly don't know. So I keep my throttle maxed out all the time, and I turn with spacebar. I don't think there's anything to it. Maybe it looks tighter because I'm using a different camera mode, but I don't think there's anything special I'm doing here. And I'm 69 and 0, and there's 268 tickets on the first sector. I thought this match was going to be a 200, but unfortunately some stuff unfolds later on, and we don't quite get it, which is unfortunate. Just going to keep on hitting A though, I mean it's where the kills are at, right? These guys aren't really learning not to group up, so we're going to keep punishing them. And, you know, just taking easy kills. Mr. Spaghetti over here is about to, he's typing stuff in the chat as we speak. Dude is, uh, is one of the salty ones, I think, this game. And uh, yeah, just going to keep uh, strafing here. We have Jesus, what a, and then, you know, not going to use any homophobic slurs because it's 2019. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep on going at it. This guy uh, does not like me clearly. And there's going to be a few more that are going to add to that list. I think this is uh, probably the, the best first, oh, so this is a second sector here really. But it's the best second sector run I think I've ever had. It's, uh, it was just really good, like, getting a lot of kills here. It's very simple. And um... They were kind of on A, which is one of the easiest flags to farm, because they all kind of funnel up where I've been spraying. Around that ammo box, and you know, in the trenches, it's always a good time. Alright, so what you guys are about to see here is the, the greatest thing I've ever invented. I'm trying to kind of reverse psychology themselves into actually trying a bit harder and pushing a bit harder. So I type in the chat, y'all got no chance, I'm too good. Obviously this is, this is clearly bait, but the idea is that they think, you know what, this guy is actually trash, let's just push the point and beat this kid. So hopefully they, they get some motivation and they go a bit harder. And I'm really trying to do this throughout the game, just kind of trying to say stuff that will kind of make them want to do the opposite like you know I'm saying that we're gonna win so they're gonna try to be like let's prove them wrong because we hate this guy and it, it's a it's a great thing to, to do it's been working pretty well I don't know what this guy's saying is that what it looks like like to you Silk? what what I don't quite get it and this guy's probably the one thing you're good at in life I get a lot of this I get the version one comes up a lot 
you know, like, people just, uh, there's a lot of, kind of, presumptions people make about people who are decent at games. I, I don't think I'm that good at games, to be honest, but, you know, uh, especially, like, better players than me, I think they get that all the time. So, we're in a dogfight here, you know, I'm just turning towards where he's going to be. I'm kind of cutting where his loop's going to end up, and, uh, yeah, very, very simple maneuver here. It's going to result in a kill. I will have a dogfighting video out at some point, guys. I just don't think dogfighting in these planes right now is uh, that fun. And changes are going to be coming in 5.2. I mean, they haven't mentioned plane changes yet, but you can bet that some stuff is going to change. Like, they don't always mention it beforehand. And, uh, yeah, just some nice little... Nice time shots. And we get Flieger Faust here, so we're going to fast forward, but I'll explain that death a little bit later. So, looking upon the last death I just had, it's actually kind of hard to explain, you know, why it happened. It's It's... I mean, it's simple, right? I got too close and they both hit their Flieger Fausts. There was two Fliegers there. That's just an instant kill. And it just comes down to the Flieger being a ridiculously overpowered weapon. And, you know, I'm not really complaining because I think the plane is overpowered as well. And speaking of the Flieger Faust, I don't know what you guys think of the changes DICE is actually making to it. So they're going to be increasing the range, but decreasing the kind of ease of use. And if you watch the developer stream they had, I think last night at the time of um, recording this video, they did explain what it's going to be kind of doing, and they said that they're going to reduce the amount of like spread it has, so it's going to be a tighter shot. They're also going to be reducing the amount of flak, and they're going to compensate you a slight bit by increasing the range. And they did really emphasize that it will be a, just a little bit of extra range, which seemed weird. They, they just said, you know, we'll, we'll compensate you a little bit. So it could be a massive nerf to the Fleek of House, guys. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Now I'm just following my favorite spot here. Uh, behind these rocks, they always group up, and it's really, really easy. So we're just going to do that for a little bit. <coughs> All right, now, so if we switch our eyes back to the chat, you'll see me typing, we got this. This is another little attempt at my reverse psychology thing. So I'm going to say, you know, I think we got this game in the bag. And I'm hoping they think, you know what, Silk, you do not got this game in the bag. Let's actually win this one. So I want them to push all the way so I can, you know, crack 200 kills. I think if it went all the way, this game could have been maybe 250. So... Unfortunately, that didn't happen, right? But it could, it could have been really, really good if it did. So we're gonna, you know, just keep farming this this regular spot and, you know, using a bit of reverse psychology here. This guy asked what keys do I use. Hopefully, he saw my guide. I did tell him to look at it. And uh, yeah, I just just random stuff in the chat. Still, not really much to see here. Gonna pick up that kill there. You know, just trying to deny them from getting the objective. Alright, so as you guys can see, we are now in the next sector, and I'm just starting to realise at this point that I'm going to have to put this team on my back. Um, they're really not that special, these teammates, and when I don't have enough impact, they do tend to push. So at that point there, I just didn't do anything for about 5 minutes, and they just pushed. You know, I was doing little things, maybe getting a couple kills every minute, but you really need to be doing that much more to keep your team in the game sometimes, and I just wasn't doing that. We're going to be looking towards the AA. Try and getting out of here. We get two. It's kind of neat. And uh, the chat's just still going off. The chat's always been going off this game. And it's one of the things I like about Battlefield. It, it's just funny just to see people's reactions to uh, impressive games. Silksy fuck off. <laughs> Classic. And uh, yeah, getting a bit of fleegers towards me here. It doesn't really worry me. And yeah, just going just gonna to keep on doing my same thing. The AA is up, I think I spot him here, and I'm going to be like, yep, we're going to go kill him, because we have 25 bullets in auto repair. So line him up, shoot the rounds in, no one's there. It's pretty simple stuff, guys, and uh, yeah, going to let the gameplay play out a bit. I don't really have much to say here. It's a pretty simple point, and uh, just going to be farming like, like usual. Get fleeged a bit there, it's all good though. Bomb connects, I think I'm going to get one. Never mind, two. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, so just uh, coming in for this strafe here, and I'm about to get shot up by a plane. So I kind of switch down towards him, try to close that angle. I do so, and then, you know, just going to turn towards where he's going to be. He comes back up, you know, I line up my shots, of course, but he's just going to run away here. And it's the play he has to make if he wants to survive. If you are not able to kill someone in dogfight, maybe you're a worse dogfight and maybe you're hurt, you can just run to your teammates and if the plane pursuing is a good player, he's not going to follow. It's pretty simple. Gonna repair off a bit, 
the flea growing a lot more now, and it's just going to get worse from this point onwards. So you want to be on high health and not going to die to those fleas. Again, with areas I'm focusing, I do tend to just find these spots where I notice the enemy are consistently like bulking up a bit, and I'm just going to take them all out, and then just you know rearm, go back there. They'll res, do it again. It's it's pretty straightforward. And yeah, we're just we're looking behind those rocks there. They always group up there. It's, it's a simple kill to keep fun. Look at that. Just five kills. That easy. From super long range. I'm doing some more reverse psychology here. Getting cockier. You guys cannot win. You know, I really do want them to push past this point. It is actually one of the harder ones to get as the attacking team, I find, against a good zero pilot. And I wouldn't mind them keeping on going here. So. You guys cannot win. This guy says, ha ha, no way. It's probably to someone else. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully they do start getting it. And I'm going to be using the, uh, the reverse psychology thing more and more often. I'm just messing around with it. It's, a uh, it's a 4,019, you know. Everyone else is in 2019. I'm in 4019. And it's one of these advanced farming tactics we've came up with. Chat's really not popping up at all right now. Kind of unfortunate, but it will pick up again. Don't you guys worry. <laughs> Now, another plane gets on my 6, it's the White Corsair, so not really liking this, uh, this dogfight too much. <laughs> I'm just trying to like mess with him a little bit. He, throw, he overcompensates really with his aim, throws his nose down too much, and I just break on him. <laughs> I'm very lazy with my defense a lot of the time. I mean, if it works, it works, right? So, he's gonna... he could have ran away from me here. He could have just kept flying straight, and I wouldn't have pursued, because he would have gone away. But instead he breaks, and gives me an easy shot. And he's going to be an easy kill. This guy is going to keep coming for me as well. It's going to be a bit annoying, but, you know, you got to do what you do. Another plane comes in. It's all good, though. Wait till I'm kind of out of his sight. Try to switch the other direction. It's not really working. Because I'm not turning sharp enough towards him. I have no energy here to go up in the vertical, so I'm not going to do it. It's going to meet him. Aim here is not the greatest, I don't think, but crashes so it doesn't matter. This guy's saying silks you take the enemy plane out. He's got to understand that it really isn't that simple. I can't kill a plane if it doesn't fly close enough to our spawn where he can't run away. If he's over the over the zone he's gonna get he's gonna get the chance to run away basically. He's gonna have fleet cover too. Um, if he's over their spawn I'm gonna get killed by spawning planes. If he's over our spawn and he's kind of slow then I can kill him. If he's out on over our spawn and he's really like fast, it, it can be hard to actually seal the deal then even. So dogfighting is as dead as it's ever been and this game is just really, really in an unfortunate state. So yeah, again, we've fast forwarded a bunch. The gameplay has really slowed down a lot and I'm going to be doing some more reverse psychology. I said, Lameo, good luck capping A. I really wanted to push this one because the next sector is an absolute farm. So, you know, Tom, good luck, Cap and A, you know, you guys can't do it, good luck. And hopefully they're going to be like, alright, we'll prove him wrong. So, <laughs> I think it works in the end, so <laughs> spoilers, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's just kind of like a, yeah, I think it's funny, but it kind of works. Like, it has been effective in the past, and this game, you, ca you can't know if it's you that's really helping them push forward, but I just think it's funny, to be honest, that we get the shut your mouth, whatever. This guy's uh, getting pissed, and just to keep riling him up, I go, I'm unbeatable. Now, we're at the peak cockiness right now. Obviously, this isn't my true beliefs, but I'm just doing it to kind of give them some motivation to beat me. And those bombs here, they didn't do anything. Unfortunate, but it's alright. And you see them capping A now. I hate to say it, but I think I'm the sole cause of them capping A. And uh, this is exactly what we want to see as someone who wants to keep the round dragging out. Now here I notice my friendly plane's in a bit of trouble, getting dogfighted by two enemy planes, so I'm going to fly in there and try to give him a hand. Aim doesn't start out so good, and I notice the white plane turns towards me and the other one does not, so I'm going to dogfight the white one. And I'm just kind of turning towards where I know he is, or where he's going to be. Should get angled kind 
Yeah, so. And I don't know where he went. He just he just disappeared. I think he went up high and he just flew away. That's probably what he did. And it doesn't really matter because I don't really care about killing him. I'm killing the, his entire team. So it doesn't really, really matter where the dogfighter plane goes when the enemy kind of ground attack plane is just farming everyone. My bombs almost get a kill there. Just the inset that's sitting there. It, it's so overpowered that it just sits there for like a minute. I haven't dropped them in so long and it's still just, you know, burning people. And those two people out really far back. If they were fleegers, I'd die strafing anywhere else, so I get them out of the way and then I get one more, I think. So, yeah, not too bad. And we're at 141 for one right now. Get a plane on my six, it's alright. Just gonna do this regular maneuver to close the first angle. And we're in a neutral dogfight already, so that's a really, really good outcome there. And I think I just shoot him in a little bit. I usually do this, I just put some shots into him and then pull off. The whole point of doing that is, I want to hit about, you know, 9, nine 10 damage. If I can hit that much and they get fleeged, they're an insta-kill, so it's a good situation. And this guy's asking me to take out the plane. I really can't take out the plane. It's unfortunate, but he just doesn't fly close enough to me where I can actually kill him. And I'm not willing to risk my life here. Gonna keep shooting. I notice them rotating back from B, I think. Actually, no, I don't. And, uh, yeah, just gonna keep strafing people, keep my distance up. Even if I shoot a full few bullets, get a few hit markers, and pull off. It's better than dying, so that's just gonna have, how it's gonna have to be. <laughs> Can't speak right now, it's pretty late at night. And, um, yeah, that was a bit lucky that I got three kills there, plus the initial kill. It comes down to fast target switching, too. If you're, uh, once you get better, you just want to start, you know, practicing switching between targets as fast as you can. This will just allow you to have more time to, you know, focus them down, and it will get you more kills per strafe. Um, yeah, it just comes down to knowing your sensitivity a bit better and being able to use your WASD keys. Mainly your rudders, actually, not really WA, WNS, sorry. But yeah, being able to use your rudders along with your mouse to move your crosshair around. It's a, it's a little thing you got to practice, but once you get good at it, it's really, really easy. And they actually cut the sector here, absolutely crazy. And uh, we know that we're going to be getting some farms here, so going to fast forward just a little bit. Alright, so we've moved to the next sector, and a plane is about to come and, you know, slot in on my six. And this guy, he just, just comes in and hits some shots here. I'm going to try to defend against him. Doesn't really do much, because he can see me the whole time, because FOV in this game is stupid high. I'm slowly reversing here, I'm just going to break so I can be the guy behind and I get some shots on a slow plane so that's really really good and he's just gonna speed up and fly towards his base it's it's the pussy tactic but it works so you know what I'm just gonna chase this guy he's, he's not gonna survive this I don't like the tactic I'm not a fan of what he's doing right now so I chase him down I kill him send him back to the spawn screen fuck that guy get him out of here and uh, yeah we're on a pretty decent score right now things are going well and we're on the sector where we get a lot of kills, so life is looking good for our pilot on Iwo Jima right now. As you can see, there's a lot grouped up there, and we're about to get them all, so there's three kills. Decent for just a few rounds, and we're at 148, I think, and one, so not too bad score either. Alright, so we continue farming here. You know, same spot, really. Just get three kills, pull off. Fligger hits a little bit, but it's all good. And uh, this plane ends up on my six. He's on fire. So what I'm going to do here is the only play I should make. I should just level out. I've got 70 health. Level out. You know, let my friendly take care of him. And get the repair. Oh, wait. That happens, guys. <laughs> fucking check this out. So I just had to, you know, show you guys this again. He just fucking RKO's me out of nowhere. Smack me into the ground upside down. And I'm dead here. I had silly, silly death. And after this point, I kind of just didn't care anymore. I didn't really care if I died again. I didn't care if I died five more times. Once you get the second death, it just kind of kind of ruins the game. Like, the KD gets halved. It's not as cool anymore. And, you know, I'm just not a fan of that. So, we're going to keep on flying here. And I've just spawned back in my plane. First strafe in. And look at this. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, man. Easy kills, boys. And uh, we're going to keep doing this. Pretty simple stuff, really. I thought the plane was going to end up uh, slotting into my 6, so 
I try to kind of throw him off a little bit and get ready to close an angle. Doesn't end up happening. I'm going to go rearm. And now we're back with another fresh zero full of ammo. And we're going to go and just try to lay some more rounds into them. There's 36 tickets left here. I've been doing some reverse psych, I think, here. Yeah, and it just hasn't been working that well. Pick up another absolute explosion of kills in the chat. And things are just going great. So, yeah, can't really complain here. And this match basically ends up finishing with a little bit of dogfighting. Gonna get into a bit of a 2v1 against these planes. And I see one stalls out, so... I'm gonna try to kill him. Aim isn't perfect, but it's good enough. And... We do seal the deal here, I believe. Yep, so get him out of the skies. 14 tickets left. And you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna do the only thing worth doing with 14 tickets left. And I'm just an idiot for doing this. So, let's see. Let's see what happens here. I think I have to see some kills. Maybe I don't. And that flicker just nearly misses. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately not going to hit 200 this game. Get a job, Silksy. Oh, real job, sorry. And then this guy's like, not my job. So maybe he understands that. Yeah, YouTube is not a job for you guys. It's just a just the thing I enjoy doing. Sure, I make a little bit from it, but it is not enough to live from. Even though I'm living with my parents, so it, it's not a big deal. YouTube is just something I do for fun, and I really enjoy it that way. And we do get double fleeged here. Is it double fleeged or just a single fleeger? I don't know, but we take a lot of damage from the fleeger. That is the point, and that is going to be the end of the game. We end up uh, winning this match, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's it's pretty straightforward. I think I asked for them to cap. <laughs> please, 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 please. Unfortunately, they're not going to let them cap. It never. They never do let them cap, and. We're going to end up winning this match. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's a bit of a long video. Hope I explained a few things. And hope you enjoyed the chat. It was absolutely crazy this game. And this is exactly what happens when I play on my main account. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for now. Peace.